Okay, so we are going to get our acceleration here. Woo! Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be going over the all-new Lincoln Navigator. Now, before we get into this video, a huge shout-out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Ford Lincoln here in Provo, Utah, for me some time with this Navigator. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And by the way, this Navigator is available for sale for the time being. If you have any questions, just ask for John Jenks. And then on a side note, if you can save time and money the next time purchase car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 16 around town and then 22 on the highway with power puts being 440 horsepower and then 510 pound feet of torque. Before we go over the front end of the Navigator, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. First off, starting at the top, I love these distinctive lines here in the center of the hood. I think they look pretty cool and solid hood design. And then coming down below, you guys can see there with the LED headlights and then the daytime running lights, super distinctive. And notice that even the Lincoln logo is illuminated. You've got that massive front grille. There's actually parking sensors here at the bottom. We do have fog lights as well. And you know, all together, it's pretty cool. And yeah, just look at that appearance. Just awesome. Coming around the side here, our tire and wheel setup is 285, 45, 22 in the front and over in the rear. And Lincoln always kills it with their wheel design. It's got this cool like flowing forward type appearance and I like it. And then when we look at the side view here of the L, first off, it's massive. You've got the Navigator logo right there. We do have some chrome accenting throughout, including on the door handles. But I also like how you've got some blacked out trim here around the windows to kind of just give it a more distinctive appearance compared to other luxury SUVs. So here's our key fob. We've got the Lincoln logo there on the back. We have our unlock lock function, remote start, and then we press this a couple times and a couple more times, I suppose, it'll pop open the hatch. And this right here is why you purchase the L. You've got tons of storage space behind the third row, but you can also fold the third row down. So I can just press this button right here and it'll do the left side for me automatically. Even does the headrest. It's kind of, kind of slow, but once it's folded down, I mean, you could live back here. And then when you're all done with the rear, just press that button and that will lower the hatch right back down. We've got the new style of taillights here for the Navigator. Cool animation there for it to illuminate. And then you got like your Lincoln logo. You've got parking sensors here at the bottom. We've got our receiver hitch. Payload capacity, 1,616 pounds. Tone capacity is over 8,000 pounds. And then I want you guys to let me know what you think about the Navigator when it comes to exterior styling overall. I still prefer the front end styling, but I think the back end, and look at that animation close off, I think it looks a lot better compared to before. First off, what you notice here is really nice leather there on the door panel, and then you guys can see with the speakers for the sound system, then the wood trim as well. And then we do have power side steps there. And then with the leather seats perforated in the center portion, really nice leather padding on that. And then legroom's pretty solid here with the Navigator. You've got a little storage pocket in front, and then headroom is also good as well. And then you guys can see the little grab handles there with the leather trim, and then notice the vent there at the top and then there's our control panel for the rear so they can control like the audio system from the back and then they also have their own climate zone as well and then you guys can see for the seats you have heated and ventilated seats for the third row passengers some charging ports down below and then we have our cup holder that pops right out and then legroom for the third row is also good and that's the end of the segment for the microphone braking and then headroom is also really good now we do get some nice amenities for the third row like this is to make my seat recline or unrecline and then I've got some storage space here and got a USB. Again, really nice leather trim all over the door panel here with the wood trim down below. And then you guys can see memory seats here, tons of adjustments for like literally everything on the seats. And then again, look at the speakers there for the sound system. All of our window controls here, the mirrors do power fold in and they've got blind spot monitoring. And you guys are probably looking at the seats and going, those are kind of funky looking, but first off, really nice leather. We got to say that. And the reason they're kind of funky looking is again, you can adjust like every single part of the seat. We have really nice leather trim all around at the steering wheel and then notice the wood trim there at the bottom. Paddle shifters here on the back for that 10 speed automatic with the Lincoln logo front and center. We do have adaptive cruise control with our lane centering assistance, volume controls, controls for the center stack, phone controls, voice command controls, everything you could ask for. Turn signal stock and then windshield wiper stock. 
So we've got this full digital gauge cluster here and you know, you can scroll through some different menus there in the center, see different bits of vehicle information, pretty standard stuff. What's not so standard is the drive modes. We have a bunch of them. We've got Excite, Conserve, Normal, and those are the main modes you'll probably use. And then you've got stuff for, you know, winter conditions and all that as well. But you know, the normal four x four auto would be fine for most stuff, as long as you got good tires. Now in reverse, we've got a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then you have that bird's eye view as well. Notice I can zoom in. And then if I press this tab right here, it picks up the other camera views that I can go into. And then there's a camera button down below that I can press and this will pull up the other camera views. So notice I got all my front cameras as well and so solid now with the rest of the infotainment system we do have a shortcut bar here at the bottom and response time is great i love how it like sparkles when you press it you've got apple carplay and android auto and then the settings tab has a lot of your features like if you go into seats for example you can see we do have massaging seats and like i said there's so much adjustment with these seats it is crazy and then you got the auxiliary tab which you can show stuff like navigation down below, we've got a few vents here, and then that is for the camera system. And then you guys can see here with our transmission select, it's all those little buttons. So going to drive, for example, you just press the button. This does have the trailer backup system, and we've got trailer brake controls integrated from the factory as well. We've got analog controls for like the radio and the climate system. And then this does have heated and ventilated seats. And I love the like feel of all of the controls. It feels very high quality. We've got some cup holders here, which you can cover up with some wood trim. Wireless phone charging pad and some USBs, which you can also cover up with some nice wood trim. Drive mode select here. This is your parking assistance. And then you guys can see your auto hold, your auto stop start, and then you've got your parking brake. And then look at this center console. It's massive. It's got nice leather on it and more nice wood trim. This is one of my favorite features on the Navigator is the recessed wood trim here on the dash. It just looks really high quality. Nice leather trim. And then you got your badge there for the Revel Ultima sound system, which is very good sound system, by the way. Massive SUV has a massive glove box. Who would have thought? And look at the metallic trim at the bottom. Just look at this interior. It's beautiful. Now up top, we do have a sunglass holder right here. And then we've got our controls here for the sunroof and the sunshade. And this does have a full pano sunroof. Sorry, there's quite a bit of glare, so it's kind of hard to see the window sticker. But for those of you that are wondering, this is a 201A Equipment Group Navigator. And it's got some packages like the Heavy Duty Trailer Tow Package. It also has the Luxury Package as well. Uh, base MSRP, $95,500. Total MSRP on this one, $104,520. And like I said, this one is the L, so it's the longer version. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility of the hood and hopefully you can now see the heads up display which shows stuff like miles per hour, temperature, fuel range. You got blind spot running with both the mirrors and then throughout the rest of the route. It's actually really good with the visibility. And <laughs> let's set off. One thing I want to mention before I leave the parking lot is I completely forgot to show this in the walk around. There is a ton of storage space like in front of this floating center console thing. So yeah, there is storage space everywhere here in the navigator it's actually really good now sorry if the uh, camera view is not great um there's so many adjustments on the seat that trying to get like the perfect like amount of lean with the seat so that i can show you guys the steering wheel and everything it's actually surprisingly hard uh, when you have like a million different things to adjust but like i said it's one of those things where it, it's nice to have because once you do get it set to where you're like super comfy it's like absolutely perfect okay so actually setting off in the navigator uh, first off what i'm noticing here is ride quality is really good this is very comfortable i guess people are trick-or-treating today that's kind of weird it's it's uh, november people um <laughs> yeah ride quality is really good and on top of ride quality being really good yeah, the seat comforts like this is like a highlight these seats are so comfortable and, you know, I've, I've reviewed quite a few luxury cars this year and, you know, Lincoln and Ford just do such a good job with their seats. It's so easy to drive. It is a big SUV, but it's, it's not difficult to drive, which is great. Yeah, it's so comfortable. I feel like uh, Matthew McConaughey right now. I'm just kidding. I had, I had to, I had to bring it up, right? 
But yeah, I, I feel like those commercials are pretty accurate to how you feel when you're driving a Lincoln because you just you just you just feel like you're just chilling, right? Just having a good time. Okay, so we are going to get our acceleration here. Woo! Man, this thing moves. Again, 440 horsepower, even though it's actually 10 horsepower less compared to a 2021 navigator, you know what? It, it still gets up and moves. So Let's kind of sum things up here with this. Uh, first off, when it comes to navigator packaging, I know it can be kind of uh, confusing because you've got several different packages, uh, but I've reviewed quite a bit of Lincoln's product, including Black Label, and I think Black Label is really cool. It does add some nice touches, but if you want the best value, just getting the reserve package is great. Um, the reason that I mention that is like, look at all these features we have. We have really nice seats. They're massaging. This interior is beautiful. A uh, lot of trims really nice. Like, I mean, again, the reserve, or sorry, not the reserve. The black label does kind of elevate this a little bit, but for the extra money that you're paying for that, I don't necessarily think that it's worth it. And this is already a hundred thousand dollars, which is a lot of money. And so, yeah, if, if it were my money, I would just go for something like this if I was going to get Lincoln. But let me know what you guys think about the new Navigator. I think this is a great full-size luxury SUV. And you know, when you're comparing this price to price to like the new Escalade, this is starting to look like a bargain. And I just reviewed a GMC Yukon Denali Ultimate the other day, and that was like almost the same price as this now. Like it's, it's, it was a little bit less expensive, but yeah, I guess Lincoln's playing the value card now. That's because something's up with our video on this Navigator. Again, a huge shout out. Thank you to the Larch Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with this Navi. Check out them turn in the description down below. Ask for John Jenks. I'll see ya.